Hello, welcome to another one of PCB's acoustic educational videos. My name is Mark Valentino. I work as a product manager here at PCB for the acoustics division. Today we're going to learn proper maintenance and the do's and don'ts of test and measurement microphones. Test and measurement microphones are very delicate instruments. In order for them to have a low noise floor to be used in anechoic chambers or low noise applications, they need to be very, very sensitive. So the diaphragm is a very thin steel alloy material that's less than a thousand thick, 0 0.02 millimeters. This can be damaged very easily. Anything that touches the diaphragm, presses against the diaphragm, or contaminates it can damage the diaphragm itself. Any dust, dirt, or moisture on the diaphragm can mass load it and change its sensitivity. So we want to make sure we keep it as clean as possible. You should never try to clean a diaphragm. If there's some dust on the diaphragm, the best way to get the dust off is take a light air blow bulb going across the diaphragm, not at it, but across the diaphragm, blow the air through the grid cap. Never use high pressure directly pointed at the diaphragm. Never use a Q-tip or liquid to clean the diaphragm itself. Any pressing down of the diaphragm or touching of the diaphragm can damage it. The only purpose of a grid cap is to protect the diaphragm. You should never remove a grid cap on the normal procedures and normal applications. The only time you would ever remove a grid cap is to insert a nose cone for wind applications or for electrostatic actuator calibration or for couplers. For calibration, you never remove the grid cap. All you do is insert it into a handheld calibrator. We recommend that you let the microphone sit for 30 seconds so heat transfer from your hand does not affect or impact the sensitivity. The grid cap has very narrow slots to keep any sharp objects from hitting the diaphragm. As you see with this example, this diaphragm has a little hole in it, and that can be done by either a sharp object hitting the diaphragm or a spark hitting the diaphragm and perforating it too. Environmental conditions can have a negative impact on the microphone and its sensitivity and stability. Don't ever expose a microphone to water or 100% humidity, oil, moisture, because this could have a negative impact either through mass loading the diaphragm or causing some of the backplane charge to dissipate. Also high temperatures can have a negative impact on the microphone too, so only use the microphone to its available operating temperatures. All the microphones have a vent that allows you to equalize pressure. Never cover the vent either with tape or holder. Large pressure fluctuations can either damage a microphone or cause it to overload. The preamplifiers will come with a cover to keep contamination away from the electrical connector. Never take this cover and put it over the microphone itself. I've seen people do this and what that does is cause a vacuum and it'll stretch the diaphragm. Please note that vibration and electromagnetic fields also have a negative impact on the sensitivity of the microphone and it can change the sensitivity or the output of your microphone. Make sure you never drop the, a microphone. Sometimes this is easier said than done. Everyone, even including myself, has dropped microphones. When not in use, we recommend that you store the microphones in their protective cases away in a cool, dry area. In summary, please remember, do not remove the grid cap unless absolutely necessary. Never touch or press the diaphragm. Avoid diaphragm contamination, dirt, dust, or moisture. Do not place the rubber electrical connector cover over the microphone. Do not cover the preamplifier vent. Do not drop a microphone. And always store the microphone and preamp in its protective case. For more information, visit pcb.com slash acoustics or give us a call at 1-800-828-8840.